Welcome to the Daily Challenge for October 30th, 2014. Let's begin.
My uh, thought process behind that decision is that my previous armor only protects me for half a heart. Which is not much. And a lot of things I'm going to encounter will do two damage to me if they hit me, which would kill me. Although I suppose with half a heart of protection it wouldn't kill me necessarily, but... Yeah, this will protect me against some very big stuff. Lost my damn beat. Oh well. At least I didn't take any damage. Alright, I have to be really careful though, because I can only do one point of damage. So if I could find something like a Ring of War, that would be wonderful.
build or appear? No, it's too costly. Well, that karate thing does indeed. Damn it. That's what happens when I talk. The uh, karate thing gives me more damage, but it would replace my glass armor.
Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I just couldn't get enough of them killed fast enough, and then they mobbed me, and yep. I'm, honestly, I'm just really surprised and impressed I was able to get through the entirety of zone number two, whilst only doing one damage. You gotta be careful with what you do, especially with things like the skeletons. You gotta be really careful with them. Gotta get your distance just right. It's tricky. Yeah, I'm getting used to... Uh, I'm getting more familiar with exactly how the later zones kind of give you the upgraded bosses. Because you can encounter this boss at the end of the first zone, but since I encountered it at the end of the second zone, it's a bit, a little bit different. Um, as far as I can tell, the only difference, though, is just that some of the pieces are red and have two hit points instead of one. Seems to be it, so it's not that much of an upgrade. And I believe those red pieces also turn into more powerful queens that also have a couple points of health instead of just one. So, a little bit stronger. I think I just held back a little bit too much at the beginning, maybe. I don't know, I was trying to really keep my distance from them, but obviously, as you can see there on the board, I kept my distance too much. Yeah. I'm still not familiar with how all the pieces move exactly. Which is... probably somewhat, if not entirely, because of the fact that I really don't know how to play chess. Anyway. Let's see where I am. Number 17, not bad. It is uh, about an hour and 50 minutes after the daily challenge switched over. Yeah, pretty good. I'm happy with that. I'm really amazed with how far I was able to go with just a golden spear and only doing one damage. Alright, that has been the daily challenge for October 30th, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.